Good morning, friends. Today we are going to do a science experiment all about the special holiday coming up. You might have talked about it with your teachers. What holiday is coming up? It's Valentine's Day. But before we get to our experiment, we're going to read a fun book. Who knows who that character is? Doc McStuffins and her little Lammy. They're going to be characters in our book. The title of our book is My Huggy Valentine. Let's see if we remember the parts of the book. This is the front, the back, the spine. You were right. And when we open it up, we find the title page. The title page usually tells us the author, the illustrator, and the title. This book is based off of a TV show. And the episode was created by Noelle Wright. So she's the one that kind of wrote the story. And the illustrator in this book was by the character building studio in the Disney Storybook Artist. So it's a little bit different than some of our other stories. Are you ready? Valentine's Day is Lammy's favorite day of the whole year. Doc's cuddliest, snuggliest toy has planned the perfect party. Surprise, Doc! Doc has a surprise for Lammy, too. She pulls a heart-shaped doll from behind her desk. Happy Valentine's Day, the doll says cheerfully. <gasps> she surprised her with a new doll. Everyone, this is Val, Doc says. Val, this is everyone. This heart could just burst with all the love in the room, Val gushes. She is the shape of a heart, isn't she? Is that what's wrong with you, Lamy asked? Because you don't look broken. Val's not here for a checkup, Doc explains. She's my new Valentine's Day toy. I love your party, Lammy, Val coos as she gives Doc a big hug. But then I love everything about Valentine's Day because I'm a Valentine and it's my day. Uh-oh, how's Lammy looking? She's looking a little jealous, a little sad. But it's supposed to be my day, Lammy says sadly. Stuffy drags a camera across the floor. Smile, Lammy, he calls. It's time for this year's Valentine's Day party picture. Lammy and Doc get set in their usual positions. Then Val jumps into the screen. Valentine, she shouts, just as Stuffy clicks the camera. Look at Lammy's face. She still doesn't look very happy to be sharing her friend Doc with a new Valentine. Lammy takes the snapshot and places it in her photo album. It was supposed to just be me and Doc, she sighs. Lammy, is everything okay, Doc wonders? Oh yeah, Lammy replies. I have something really special to show you. It's my super Valentine's Day. Who do you think she's going to show her? Oh no, Val is taking over Lammy's cuddle booth. I'm the one who gives out hugs around here, not Val, Lammy cries. It's okay though. Lammy has other party plans. Okay, everybody. It's time for pin the heart on me, she says. Doc covers Stuffy's eyes and spins him around. Then she hands him a paper heart. Stuffy stumbles and puts the heart on Val. The game didn't go the way Lammy had planned it all. Who wants to make Valentine's, Lammy suggests. Doc gets out all the art supplies. Everyone loves my Valentine's, Lammy tells Chili. And everyone does, but they love Val's even more. That's beautiful, Val, Doc says. I've never seen anything like it. Lammy watches while the other toys sing and dance with Val. Her favorite day of the year is turning out to be the worst day ever. Are you okay, Lammy? Doc says. I'm fine, Lammy sighs. Does she look fine? No, her head's down. She's sitting by herself. Doc can tell that Lammy isn't really fine. She takes Lammy into the checkup room to examine her. Are those tears, Doc asks? Does something hurt? You can see a tear in her eye. Just my heart, Lammy answers. It hurts a little. 
But don't worry about me. I'm sure you'd rather be at the party with Val anyway. Lammy, do you really think I'd rather be with Val than with you? Asked Doc. Lammy decides to share her feelings with Doc. I was your number one cuddler, your best friend, she cries. Valentine's Day was my day. But now you have Val and she's perfect and everyone thinks she cuddles better than I do. Doc is ready to make a diagnosis. Hallie hands her the big book of boo-boos. I'm glad you told me how you f were feeling, Lammy, Doc says. You have a, you have a case of split heartitis. That means you have a broken heart. Oh no, oh, Lammy. Am I really sick, Doc? Lammy asks worriedly. Your heart's not actually broken, Doc says. It works just fine. But sometimes when your feelings get hurt, your heart can feel like it's broken. Have you ever had your feelings hurt sometimes and your heart feels like it's breaking? That's how it feels, Lammy admits. I'm sorry, Lammy. I guess I was so caught up in Valentine's Day and my new toy, I didn't notice how you were feeling, Doc says. But Lammy, no one can ever take your place. Sometimes your friends might get new friends and then you can all be friends. Or maybe you get a new toy and you don't play with your old ones as much. A hug from Doc is just what Lammy needs to fix her broken heart. She's ready to celebrate with her friends, including her new friend, Val. What's everyone standing around for, Lammy shouts. Let's party. Take a look at Lammy now. How does she look now? She's smiling, isn't she? She is. Do you remember what shape Val was in our story, the new character? She was a heart. We are going to do a science experiment using hearts. Are you ready? Get your scientist coats on. Get your brains ready. Let's do this. All right, scientists, it's experiment time. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're going to need a few supplies before we get started. You're going to need some baking soda. You're going to need some vinegar. Have you ever smelled vinegar? It's a really strong smell, kind of like the pickle jar because when they make pickles, they use vinegar. And you're gonna need some white glue in a bottle. If you have an eyedropper, you can use it. If not, we'll figure it out. And some food coloring. Now, since Valentine's Day is really close, I decided to use this color. What color did I decide to use, friends? Red. All right, so do you remember what scientists do? What do scientists do? Scientists ask questions. So our question today, you'll see in a few minutes, is what is gonna happen to the heart? Scientists make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a prediction or a guess about what is gonna happen. And as we're doing our experiment today, Miss Stephanie's gonna ask you to make your own hypothesis. A scientist observes or watches what happens with their eyes. A scientist investigates that's what we're doing today. And then last, a scientist records. So when we're done, you're gonna record what happened in your journal and share it with your teachers. So are you ready? Let's do it, scientists. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our white glue and it's, if it's in a bottle, it's really easy to draw with it. And we're going to draw a shape. What shape do you think Miss Stephanie's gonna pick? On this Valentine's Day, I'm gonna pick a heart. So I'm gonna draw my heart right here. Now my paper is white and my glue is white. So it's kind of hard for you to see. I'll hold it closer. See my heart? I'm gonna do a few of them. Maybe a small one and a big one. All right. I put three hearts on my paper. One, two, three. Now the next step in our experiment is to take the baking soda. I put it in a bowl so it was easier to get. And we're going to sprinkle it onto the glue. Now, don't worry about getting it all over the paper because we're gonna shake the extras off. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it all over the heart, all over all three of my hearts. All over, all over, all over. 
now. Scientists, make a hypothesis. What do you think the hearts are going to look like when we shake the baking soda off? Do you think that the baking soda did anything to the hearts? Make your prediction. Are you ready? I'm going to shake and we'll take a peek. Do they look different? I see the powder on them. All right, you ready for the next step? Now, the next step is where we're going to use the vinegar. I poured some in my bowl. Eh, it's Valentine's Day, so we're using red. I'm gonna put a few drops right into my vinegar. I don't have any water in this bowl, it's vinegar. It does kind of look like water because it's clear. And I'm just gonna use my little eyedropper to stir it around, get all of it mixed up. So I have nice red vinegar. Now I'm gonna get some vinegar in my eyedropper and I'm gonna drop it right onto my heart. Make your hypothesis or your prediction. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm, do you think it's gonna color it red? Maybe, I don't know, what do you think? Are we ready? So I'm gonna drop it on, let's see, let's observe. Just dropping it right onto the heart. What's happening? My heart is foaming. It's fizzing up, isn't it? The baking soda that we put on the heart and the vinegar are causing a scientific reaction, like a chemical reaction. Here we go, ready? Sometimes when we combine things, they have reactions and that's what's happening right now. Pretty fun, isn't it? Is that what you thought would happen? Did you think it would fizz up and get this big? That's pretty cool. We're using the same ingredients that you would use to kind of make a volcano at your house. I'll bring it really close so you can see. Look how high it foamed up off of the paper. Pretty cool, scientists. All right, so now I want you to grab your journal and I want you to draw a picture of what happened. You can write a sentence about what you saw. You can have a grown up help you write a sentence, but draw a picture and then write something. Have fun.